This is your first time in the U.S. in so long, and there's just this massive cold front sweeping through. It ain't a cold front. I caught swine flu in Poland in October. My voice has never been right since because uh, I did something really stupid. Because um, we went to Bosnia, and I couldn't even speak. And we said to the fans, oh, please, please, don't cancel, don't cancel, because... I, know, I never cancel shows where I can do it. Uh -huh. So but like, I went up and pushed it too hard and I damaged all my larynx and everything. So it's up and down. Some days it's good, some days it's bad. And But when you're not getting any sleep and you're traveling miles and miles, it's like starting all over again. Especially in the US, about to start right from the bottom. Yeah. You know, again upwards and it's fucking killing us. I'm too old for this shit, to be honest with you. You know, normally we go on the bus or fly everywhere and that, but I'm going to do this in really low budget here in the States just to get in. But I'm here now, I've done it, so if I cancel the rest of it, when we'll I come back next year, I can come back and, you know, a bit better, but I don't really want to cancel. Yeah. But I've got to take care of this. It's hard, just not getting any sleep. You just have to, fun. you're a touring machine, you're yeah, always out as there. as soon as I'm done here, I'm straight back out to Scandinavia, and then Italy, then back to Chile, and then on to Russia. And you just added some dates in France too. And, and the French dates too, yes. Yeah. So I've got a, I've got other priorities as the mission here was to get here. Uh -huh. We've done that. But I want to finish Texas, and I want to try and finish Los Angeles, and then I may have to go to the hall. So Icarus <laughs> Witch has been acting as your touring band. How have oh, you enjoyed tearing awesome it up on Awesome guys, with them? awesome guys, great band. Um, not really the kind of music I really listen to myself, you know, because you know, I come from punk and hardcore stuff, but these guys are fucking awesome, they're, they're fantastic players, and I actually watched them play a few times, and they're good, they're, they're really good, and Matt, awesome singer, really good, he's pissing me off, actually, his voice is good every night, and it really pisses me off, <laughs> but like, nah, he's, they're, they're a great band, I really like them. So you spent the last several years bringing the metal to the masses, touring all around the globe, uh, I think the question on a lot of fans' minds is, when can we expect another studio album from Paul Dion? Uh, yeah, and that's the problem there. <laughs> um, we, we did a couple of tracks in Germany last year, um, five tracks that sort of all industrialized, sort of hardcore stuff and that. Um, and I'll give it on a record company. So I've taken the tracks and then taken the tracks and don't know what to do with it at the minute. So me and a friend of mine in England, we've given me 18 pieces of music. I tell my own, so like, it's when I get time off to sift through it all. You know what I'm saying? It's really difficult. I can't write when I'm on the road. Because uh, like, look at the state, I'm mean, always tired, always got interviews to do. I can't write unless I get back home to Brazil, I'm back home in Sao Paulo, and then I can sit down, relax after a couple of weeks, and you know, I can crack into it then. Uh, how would you describe your new material that you said you have six, 18 pieces of music? We've got 18 right? pieces, but like, and they're not complete, it's just like ideas and riffs and stuff like uh -huh. that. Um, what my friend Ben and me have been doing, Ben comes from a hardcore band called Junk DNA, um, it's kind of like heavy hardcore stuff, you know, which is what I came from originally before Maiden anyway. So doing that, um, but he's got like, he does these nice little subtle guitar pieces, like, you know, it's like, like kind of like what the Edge plays as well. So you got like this hardcore stuff. With this. So which, I've got all the tracks, but I've got to have the time off to sit down and write. So it's going to be different. <laughs> so um, speaking of you working with other musicians, um, you did a collaboration a few years back. I wanted to ask you about how do you enjoy working with Destruction on the track ah, Shmir. <laughs> Alliance of Hellhounds. <laughs> well, they asked me to do it, and they sent the track over. And I've done it in my studio in England. Yeah, I went in and I gave them three versions of it. Um, they got um, a straight head metal version, they got a hardcore version, they got a punk version. I've, I've done my bit. Like, give them three, they can choose what they want. So yeah, it's all good. Yeah, it was great. So your autobiography, The Beast, is now out in both hardcover and paperback format. Well, um, hard, hardcover's gone. Uh, that's sold out completely. We sold out that about seven years ago now. Uh, you can only buy it on Amazon. Or, no, I don't think you can get it at all now. Which is a good thing, because all the money for that was going to cancer charity. But this year, we've released it on paperback. I may make some money out of this. <laughs> Be nice. 
Have you continued to write since The Beast came out? I, no, I, I didn't want to do it in the first place. It's just that I, I decided to do it only because of the money's going to cancer charity. That's the only reason. So this April marks the 30th anniversary of the groundbreaking yep. self-titled debut album from Iron Maiden. Yep. Um, what are your memories of everything that went into making such a classic album? I don't remember nothing about that at all. It was all exciting. I remember that. Um, I smashed all my knee up for the first time on my Harley. I don't remember that. Um, Johnny Maiden recovered, went back to South America, come back again, started touring. Oh, I came and done the vocals as well, <laughs> that was it. And uh, I don't really remember too much about it. It was like so many things going on, you know what I mean? It was like this whole revolution was happening in England. Uh-huh. You know, um, all the old dinosaur bands like Purple and Priest and Zeppelin and all that, you know, everyone was getting pissed off that because a lot of the heavy metal kids were so pissed off paying all these like exorbitant amounts of money listening to someone waiting away for like 25 minutes on the guitar solo where they wanted something a bit more exciting. And they didn't want to sort of say, oh, like we're liking punk. Yeah. They need something to trigger it. And we came at the right time. You know, like Iron Maiden, the heavy metal man. Also quite technical, but also pretty fast for, you know, like normal heavy metal music. Sure, yeah. And then with me as a punk singer, we fucking nailed it. It wasn't intentional, it just happened that way. You know what I'm saying? I came straight out of a punk band, Strange to Iron Maiden. It was cool. Just done something different. And uh, have you had any recent contact with your old friend and former drummer Clyde? Yeah. <laughs> Clyde's very sick of the man, everyone knows that. Um, I flew over from Brazil last year just to go play 45 minutes in fucking Paris for Clive uh, with the French band, did a jam with them. Um, I, I did Clive A, you know, I've done quite a few. Uh, I think Bruce has done one. So I've done about five so far. Um, I'll always do it for Clive, yeah. He's, he's, you know, good friend of mine but it's, it's very upsetting to talk about it you know like um, I don't think Clive needs sympathy from me I think that's the last thing you want you know what I mean but I'm there to support him and do whatever he needs you know so it is tough so with older material like Killers and Battlezone being out of print are harder to find here in the States. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Uh, do you anticipate any of that material being reissued domestically at some point? Well, actually, the Killer stuff, um, the old guitar player from uh, Killers, Cliff Evans, um, he bought the copies without me even knowing about it and has re-released them on his own label. Well, that's fucked up. Yeah, it was fucked up, because yeah, what we'd done, we actually put it out on our website, could download them all for free. Uh -huh. About three months, and then took a court injunction out for me. I'm like, you wanker. <laughs> Never mind. So, for someone like yourself who's considered an icon in both punk rock and heavy metal circles, I think it'd be interesting to know are there currently any up and coming uh, punk or metal bands who you, you listen to right now? I haven't really heard a lot of anything, I mean, because I'm trying to write songs at the minute. Um, no, um, I can't really comment on that, to be honest with you, because I mean, I'll still listen to, you know, I'll, you know, I'll some bands like Linkin Park and shit like that as well, you know, I like, I like that kind of music. Um, I hate you bought Fall Out Boy album, do you believe? Um, and tour wraps up, I know you got some dates just announced in some France. Some dates. And then you got, um, <laughs> this May, you're touring Brazil with the band Hanger, doing a yeah. 30th anniversary show. Um, I said I'd do that only for Brazil, because mainly ain't doing shit, right? Uh -huh. And... You know, I play some of the songs, obviously, in my set, but um, I want to do this as a thank you to, you know, to Brazil. What do you think? I said, you know, it's where I live, it's where my family are. Um, uh -huh. I, I love my country, and I wanted to do it for them only, and it's a one-off, you know. And then again, we've also agreed to do it in Argentina later as well. It's basically for South American kids. Yeah. You know, the ticket price would be down to about five bucks, um, or free, you know, so it's just fun. Oh, I've really got a lot of all fucking songs again, that's a problem. Um, when have I got time? Never. So, anything else on the calendar for 2010? Yeah, probably die. No, don't die, <laughs> die on us, Die on the road, or no. lose my voice altogether. That'll be fun. I don't think I'm ever going to get my high notes back again, ever. So everything you get from me is going to be hardcore from now on. That's a different angle, that's alright, it's fun. Well, thanks so much for taking the time Cheer, to talk buddy. metal. Oh, that cake's unbelievable, thanks. Awesome.